I'm not babysitting a grown adult. No, you did Have you ever seen someone make a series of poor choices after a setback like losing their job? That's exactly what happens when an individual decides to spiral out of control instead of seeking a fresh start. Instead of looking for new opportunities, they dive headfirst into self-destructive behavior, leaving a trail of chaos in their wake. Let's start with this lady who gets fired and then makes things a lot worse. In a chaotic scene outside of school, a woman identified as Patricia was arrested after displaying erratic behavior following her dismissal from her job as an assistant principal. Do you know her? Yes, so I'm the assistant principal. Um, we're here having our end of year celebration. She, I just showed up. She's obviously upset. I believe she's heavily intoxicated. Mm -hmm. um, one of our other assistant principals was her supervisor and she had to let her go this year. And so when she saw her, she started, got very upset, started punching her truck. Truck. She got upset because she saw the lady that she had to let go and it made and she her... was upset prior to us getting here. I'm not really sure why, but as soon as she saw the um, person who had to let her go... She oh, got, she got let go. Yeah, she got let go. She got okay, go. gotcha. Um, so she started screaming, punching the truck, saying she wanted to kill her. I don't think she's actually going to kill her. I think she's saying her emotion. emotion. Right, 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 right. Um, does she live alone? Is she married? She has... I believe she's married. She has children. I asked her if she had somebody to pick her up. She said no. But witnesses reported that Patricia, visibly intoxicated, became aggressive upon encountering her former supervisor during an interview celebration. Then the situation escalated when police arrived on the scene, where officers attempted to de-escalate the confrontation. It doesn't matter. Well, I want to talk to you like a human being, so what's your name? My mother. Has done nothing. What's her name? Miss Doe. What's your first name? I can't remember. Rebecca? No, my mother has done nothing. Okay, but you know what? We can talk about that with your therapist. No, okay? no, 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 no. My mother Who's it? has done nothing. I'm not driving. You got to tell them where you live, though, in your name so they can take you home. It doesn't matter. It does, because they have no, a no, 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 no. Is this her? My mother. I don't know. I think so. My mother has done nothing. No, he'll be the homie. So you can either cooperate with us like we're trying to help you, or not and go a different he'll route. He'll be the homie, but I'm not. Hey, well, you don't got to throw your water. No, I have to. What's going on? Talk to me. Because I try to go in there and talk to a fucking principal. Who's the principal? Merrick. Doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it matters to me. I'd like to know. He's an asshole. Well, I want to try and help you out a little bit here. I'm not driving. I know. I'm just trying to have a conversation with you, that's all. Yeah. And now I'm going to be the bitch. No, I didn't say that. Yeah. So. So you went in to try to talk to the principal, but they didn't want you to. No, I got an appointment tomorrow. We talk to him a couple times. Okay. You have an appointment to go talk to him? Yeah. Well, don't you think in this condition is not no, the best way to go talk to him? No, not tomorrow. Not, not ever. Whatever. I'm not driving. That's fine, but we also are here now to help you, and we have a Ms. liability Felicia. if we leave you. Yes, baby. I'm not driving. Yep, I got your keys. Take phone. My boyfriend, Rose. Where is your boyfriend? Doesn't matter, does it? Despite their efforts, Patricia resisted cooperation, claiming to be in distress over her circumstances and expressing fear of someone named Raymond. As officers tried to assist her, Patricia's agitation grew. She refused to provide her name or address, insisting that it didn't matter, despite police assurances that they were there to help. Well, I'd like to make sure you're safe when you leave here. Yeah, I'm safe. Let me drive fucking home. Oh no, you're not gonna let you drive. Hey. Yeah, baby. Yeah. You let dress right down the road. Okay. I'm not hey, the hey, fucking hey, hey. person. Hey, Don't hit that car. car. No, I'm not Stop. the fucking person. Stop, that's not your car. Oh. It's not yours. Oh, Stop. fucking. It's all right, mm. it's all right. We don't need to do that. You know I haven't done nothing wrong. I don't care. Hey, I'm 
Go down. Go down. Ma'am. Go down. Ma'am. Ma. Hey, look at me. Ma. Ma'am. Look at Ma. me. This is your last chance. Look at me. Ma. Hey. What's your name? Patricia? Patricia. Can you look at me real quick? I haven't got to talk to you yet. Okay. Can you look right here? Just focus on me. I've already talked to your boyfriend who's gonna pick you up and you get to go home and then just do whatever you wanna do the rest of the day, right? Yeah. So just listen to me. All so, right. so I'm let's the stay fucking calm. person Can you just hear that me? gets fucking I, I hear bullshit. You. I hear you, but please don't strike the vehicle anymore or Mom. I'm gonna have to take you, okay? Come on. What are you threatening me? Come on. <laughs> come on. I don't know if you want to try that. Come on. All right, can we just relax, please? We're giving you We're a lot of opportunity you out. here. Come on. Where we go? I'll fuck you up. Nice. Threatening a police officer. Do you want to go to jail, ma'am? No, to I want to fuck course? you up. Let's make it happen. Bullshit. So, ma'am, we were being very kind. We gave you a chance. We gave you a chance, and now you are going to go to jail. Right. 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 So. However, her refusal to comply with their instructions led to further confrontations, including physical resistance when officers attempted to secure her for her protection. Ultimately, she was arrested for resisting an officer with violence and disorderly intoxication with a cash bond set at $3,000. Don't no. fuck with me. Stop. Come on. Don't fuck with me. You're making this way no, worse. I'm not. Let go. Stop. Stop. Let go. Don't fuck with me. Let go. Stop. Please stop. Don't fuck with me. Only. Let go. Only Mr. I will give it to her. Let go. Let it go. Only Mr. Okay. 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 Let it go. Stop. Only Mr. Then I'll fuck with you. Hush. I'm a nothing. Oh. Stop. Stop. No. 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 Why are you being this no. way? Yeah, why are you, why are you being this way? Don't fuck with me. Nobody's messing with me. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. We will. Don't fuck with me. Alright. Bye. Hey, I'll get it. Thank you. <laughs> Stop. Oh. I got smaller cups. I said, don't fuck with me. I was Nobody's trying to adjust that. I said, don't fuck with me. 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 Don't don't fuck with me! Don't fuck with me! Don't fuck with me! Don't fuck with you! From a legal perspective, Patricia's actions violate several Florida statutes. Under Florida statute SS 316.193, driving under the influence, individuals can face severe penalties for operating a vehicle while impaired. Additionally, SS 843.01 addresses, resisting an officer without violence, while well, SS 843.02 pertains to resisting an officer with violence. Patr Patricia's actions clearly exemplified. The penalties for resisting an officer can include up to five years in prison and a fine up to $5,000, depending on the severity of the resistance and any injuries inflicted. All right, let's shift our attention to this next case where things might get even worse. Let's start with this drunk Karan who has extreme meltdown after getting kicked off plane. On December 30th, 2023, a chaotic scene unfolded at a Florida airport 
as a highly intoxicated mom was forcibly removed from a flight due to her disruptive behavior. So it seems to be the problem tonight. You're intoxicated and shouldn't be on the plane, running your mouth again, running your mouth to check out or when you're getting in here. Did you it's all on again? video. Yeah, when you first came in, you were giving them a problem. It's all on video. Can you tell me what I was giving them a problem about? Yeah, you're being this courteous. Oh, please, please tell me in detail. How they all told me already. But I, I need and to know. And now you're on the plane being this courteous again. That's fine. I need to so know in my own at? manner. How am I being discourteous? How am I being to this? Well, you're I need to know. right now, which is probably why you're being the way you are. That's fine. I need to know why. So where's why? your license at? No, I need to know why. Where's your exactly, license at? Exactly, exactly. No, under the law, I need to know exactly where why. Where is your exactly license this. at? I will give that to you. Yep. Get your Florida license. It's a medical marijuana card. Oh, sorry. It's this one. Sorry. They, I keep it in the same thing. Can we bring it back over to my office? What's that? Can we bring it over to my office? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Right. Want to grab your bag? Okay. Got a That's body-worn right. camera. You already walked away, and as I'm collecting my things, you literally said, so you're not collecting your things as I'm collecting That's my things. That's not what I said. Which already shows. Yes, it is. Which All I said is. Which already shows you're not doing your job on top of that. Time. I am I'm doing my job right now. Yeah, I'm already under so, the police right. academy law. I already know what I'm talking about. You're under arrest about. for disorderly intoxication. No, I'm not. Yes, ma'am, you are. No, yes, I'm not. Are. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yep. The woman's trouble began when she boarded a flight and took a seat that was not assigned to her. Her refusal to vacate the incorrect seat, combined with her loud and belligerent behavior, quickly escalated the situation. Flight attendants, facing increasing difficulty managing her outbursts, decided to request her departure from the aircraft. This request triggered a full-blown meltdown from the passenger who was visibly intoxicated. You don't want to listen. You're intoxicated. You're causing a scene at the airport. I literally, okay, Place that's fine. Your back. My video literally Place, shows that. Put your hand Sorry. down. Let me, let me put this down. Let me put this down. Okay. Can I put this in my wallet? You put it down right there. With your put it down. restrooms. No, put I need it. to put this down so I know that it's in my restrooms. Ow! With Stop my, resisting and put my it down. hand Stop is resisting fully and put it down. incapacitated with Damn. my thumb. Stop. That's fine. No, I'm not You're stopping. making this worse than... You just put in assault, which I have an injury on, that you put assault on top of. Yes. That's fine. I have everything on top of right there. I'm in the police department. I know exactly what the law is. You're literally pulling everything against it. Which no, is fine. I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, if I you were in the police academy, you will not be you, anymore. I told you I was putting my hands up against the police academy, everything. I told you I put my hand, and then I put my hands up, and you didn't give me a single chance to put my evidence up for me to put my own personal providence against the ground. That is illegal providence. You're still causing a problem. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I you're literally just told you on the police airport right, right there that hey, that is the illegal providence. Can you guys grab her stuff right so I can walk her up here, please? I'm not. You're literally going to be. You're causing a disturbance. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You literally had to pull I you off the plane. Just, no, I yes, did not. Grab her the stuff moment you pull me off the plane was the moment I correspond with everything that you say corresponding with everything that was diligent all of that fun stuff so everything that you just did you will be hearing with your own court officer the situation deteriorated as the woman's behavior on the plane grew more erratic her inability to comply with instructions from the flight crew and her aggressive outburst created a significant disturbance for Edistern. Her intoxicated state was apparent through slurred speech and a general lack of coherence, further compounding the chaos. Okay, go ahead. Is she good out here with her? Is she good out here with her? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got you right here. Can you, um, do you see the one here? My lip, the dark lip, if you don't, it's fine. But the one, <laughs> that one lip that's like <laughs> right there. You're not, gonna kick, you're not gonna kick me, are you? No, you can even use your foot if you want to. Thank, thank you. Just, yep, yep. No, keep grabbing it. Mm hmm. Thank you. So. Good, good, good. There you go. Now I'm good. Thank you so much. Yeah. You wanna ask her a question? Uh, if she can go my chapstick. 
Oh, oh no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to. Should I put it in your lip? Can I do it? No, just wait. You're on your, you're on your chapstick right now. She definitely got, not going to do that. I'm sorry? You going to jail? I would assume so. What did you do? I don't know. Be apparently too loud. Hmm? Too loud. Why are you too loud? I have my side and then you guys have your no, side. No, actually your side. I was in there. If I tell you my side, is it really going to count? Well, if you want to tell me, that's fine. But regardless, if you did something wrong, that's whatever. what I'm saying. I don't... I, and you, you and I talking. It's like I'm not, you know, on their oath, or you're not, you know, you're not sworn. Yeah, it's like there's no point, I guess. Hey, yeah, bud. You all right, Bob? Yeah, man. How you doing? Good. The woman was ultimately charged with disorderly conduct, a common charge for individuals who create disturbances in public spaces. Her arrest involved her being taken into custody and transported to a local jail. The consequences of her actions included potential legal proceedings and the added stress of facing a lawsuit, which could further impact her future opportunities, including her aspirations for entry into a police academy. Well, because I asked the officer's, like, credentials. That's it. No, I'm sorry. He's trying, to fix, he's trying to fix your cuff. What did, no, literally, what did I do for me to be like this? Disorderly impacts. Not where, though? No, I want to know exactly where. Where Throughout the entire the time. officers, where I'm going to, no, I did, I literally am a, no, I You're literally going. know the right of me arrest. going. Yep. They can't even get me on me going up to any of the bars, anything of that, like doing any interest, me going up, you did not f***ing talk to me on f***ing anything, no interest on whatever, so wait until I have you on thing. He did not do his job, he did not search me on a single thing, nothing before the airport, nothing on even minimum on anything, on anything. All because I questioned your manhood. Yeah, you did. You had everything fine with me until I literally questioned your manhood. Yes, I did. Yes, I literally have it on video recordings. I had everything on you talking normal to me until I literally questioned your job. And then you immediately went into my job, this and this and this. I have everything on recordings. Everything. No, it doesn't matter. Everything on police duty is recording. Just wait. It doesn't matter. You f***ed with the wrong person. You really did. I warned you. It's not warning. It's not warning. I'm literally threatening you to the law. The law. How is it disorderly conduct? In Florida, disorderly conduct is classified as a misdemeanor under Florida statute section 877.03. As a first degree misdemeanor, it is punishable by up to one year in jail and or a fine of up to $1,000. The severity of the penalty can vary based on factors such as the extent of the disruption and the individual's prior criminal history. Public intoxication addressed under Florida statute section 856.011 is generally considered a second degree misdemeanor. This charge can result in up to 60 days in jail and or a fine of up to $500 if the intoxicated behavior is disruptive but not severely hazardous. And this woman clearly just landed herself in hot water, but just wait until you see this next one. At approximately 8.52 p.m. on January 2nd, 2023, Deputy Matthew LeVere of the Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office noticed a 2021 Volkswagen Atlas traveling at 82 Memphis and a 60 Memphis Hind on Highway 90 near Pepper Tree Road. They said it was going 68, but my, my camera saw it was not going. They said, originally they said 80, and now they're saying 60. Ma'am, if you would listen, I was told you were going 82, and then you said that you were going 68. He said so. he, that I was going 82, and now they're saying that Here's your other stuff back. Can we get a... Can you please call... Can you call him immediately right now? I was trying to call him. Can you... 
You can leave your purse and everything in the car. Hey, call me back Ma'am, immediately. The step Rosa out of the car now. I'm not telling you again. Get out. They only told me, one, told me once. They're trying to hurt me and take advantage of me. I'm not trying to hurt you. They step back here. They are trying to hurt me and take advantage of me. Whoa, watch out, watch out. Don't fall on the roadway, okay? He initiated a traffic stop and the driver, later identified as Rachel, pulled over near Dingo Road. Upon making contact, Deputy Lavere observed signs of impairment. Rachel. Rachel denied speeding and attempted to call her attorney multiple times. Suspecting impairment, Deputy Livier instructed her to exit the vehicle. Some alcohol coming off you, okay? You cannot. Okay. That's not possible. Okay. You want to say that because that's how you get your jurisdiction, that's how you get, get do your thing. Okay. All right, but you can't hardly really stand up. What's wrong? I'm standing fine. What are you talking about? Okay. All right, are you willing to perform field sobriety for yes, me? Yes, I okay. am. All right. Um, I'm going to shut down one lane, mm -hmm. all right, so we can do it right here, okay? Fine. Are you okay standing by for me? I mean, I can stand up fine. You're lying about me not being okay. able to stand up. With other deputies arriving to assist, Rachel eventually excited and agreed to undergo field sobriety tests. Given her erratic driving, the smell of alcohol, and her failure to perform the sobriety tests adequately, Rachel was arrested for driving under the influence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're gonna take me to jail anyway, so why are you gonna do it? Are you done? I mean, you're gonna arrest me anyways, because you. I'm, I'm asking, are you done with the task? Text me, Duke Shack, I'm in the city of Crestview. All right. Yeah. I know. You, the driver. you are showing several signs of impairment. Is your phone still on? That's gonna be the next two. Can you get my seizure off. dog out of the car, my service dog out of the car? Want your purse and phone to go with you? And your watch? And my badge, too, as well. Your badge? Where's your badge at? After placing her in the patrol car, deputies discovered a firearm in her vehicle. Um, Deputy Liver transported Rachel to the Santa Rosa County Jail while another person was contacted to take care of her dog. Do you have pockets or anything? No, no? nothing, okay. but hopefully just, you just can prove try. what you just thought I'm you I'm not doing yeah. anything. I'm here to assist him. Yeah, Go ahead and have a seat. Can, okay. Hopefully you're... Okay, have a seat. Yeah. That'll be handled in court. No, it won't be. Okay. Well. I'm going to move this out of your way. That way you can have a little bit more room for your feet. Just hang yeah, tight for me. Yeah, I service dog back now. She has her service tag with her. She we'll, has my seizure dog. We'll figure that out in a second. Just hang tight. Uh, we need to get the phone number to call. Is this 365? 223. 66A-ADAM-688-392. She'll come back on a 9mm SIG P365XL. At the jail, Rachel consented to a breath test, which yielded back results of 0.26% and 0.262%, significantly above the legal limit of 0.08%. She was booked on charges of driving under the influence FSS 316.193.4 and received a warning for speeding. Rachel was released the next day at 10.14 a.m. after post a $500 bond. All right, fellas, what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and educational contents in the future. Thanks for your support.